I apologize for the lighting, but this is what you get. This is my AK with all my accessories I put on it. And you may be wondering what kind of AK is that? It is a Yugo NPAP. You're like, what? Is that a Zukov? You are correct. I have a uh, buttstock adapter from Canis. So I'm on a uh, MFT stock. I really like the stock, but it's in gray. So I need to switch that out for black, I guess. Magpul MOE 2, the rubberized one. Like it. Magpul Gen 3. Ooh, what are those? With the metal tabs. Just got one. Not too sure if I like it. I still dig the surplus. For those of you wondering, it's kind of hard to do one handed. She's clear. I got a Zukov. How awesome. Alright, let me go over some stuff. Alright. So I got it in my vise. Sorry about the lighting again. So the Zukov stock. This is made for, uh, I guess, regular pattern AKs. Uh, the Yugo is not. The Yugo, which everybody calls the Yugos, Yugos their end paps are actually made by Zestava. Um, the hand guards are a bit longer. If you can see here, that is a normal AK-47 hand guard. And this is the, you know, just... Serbian, Yugo, whatever your style handguard, you know, it's just longer. Same thing with the bottom handguard. So, what happened was, I got the Ultimac for my Yugo. This is a Ultimac made for the Yugo. I uh, love it. Put it on, but I still had this ugly wood stock on there. And it didn't really jive, you know what I'm saying? See what I got going on here? So I was like, man, this has got to go. So, went to the store and was looking at these Zukovs, you know, like, man, I wish I really had a regular pattern AK to put that on. That'd be great. Well, I don't. Sucks. And there's really no awesome forends for the Yugo. I mean, I could have got a Midwest Industries front handguard. I really like M-Lock. They make an M-Lock version. It's just their, their top rail, I just... I wanted an Ultimac. I just like all this rail space, and it does allow it to co-witness, which is not a huge deal for me, but uh, I like the idea. I like to have that option. So I was like, man, I really really want that Ultimac. So I put the Ultimac on, like I said. I was like, man, that Zukov is pretty sweet. Well, anyways, I saw a video online. Um, I think his name is Coyote Tan, and it's spelled with a K. Uh, he showed putting it on an M77, which I believe is the uh, either the 308 or the 556 version of uh, a Yugo NPAP. And he put it on. He talked about fitting and all this stuff. And kind of watched it. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot of detail. It didn't show him doing it. And, and I would love to show you when I was doing this, but this took me several hours. I had to go out and buy a Dremel to make this work. And I know everybody's cringing Dremel. But uh, she is solid as a rock. Um... What I had to do to get it to fit and get on there, unfortunately, with the Zukov, you have to take off your retainer plate and your sling loop to get it to fit. It's just the way it is. Sorry. So, took the Dremel, cut it off, and then uh, same thing with this. I was pretty careful with it. Didn't only got to cut like a, a few little tiny little nicks in my barrel, but not a big deal. Um, what I did is I took some black spray paint, spray painted uh, you know where I nicked up or anything, and where the uh, uh, sling loop st sticks out, just you know, in case there's rust, I guess, or something like that. That was my main concern. Uh, and then there is a metal um, heat shield underneath that the actual plastic handguard mounts to. Um, and then uh, that has barrel clamps that mount to the barrel. I'm sure you just look up Zukov and how they attach. Well, what I had to do to modify it is uh, I actually had to take that uh, heat shield, cut off maybe mm, half an inch off the, the rail here, 
and then mm, just ever so slightly I cut a notch like this on the rails. Uh, that's basically so the Ultimac would fit. Otherwise it, it sits too high and it wouldn't, wouldn't function. So I trimmed that, zapped it with some black spray paint, you know, make it look, uh, make it look decent. Tried putting it on. It was golden until I slid on the handguard and she would not go all the way back. And with the Ultimac and the way the handguard mounts, there is a, there's a total of now, there's two clamps for the Ultimac and two clamps for the handguard. So a lot is being clamped to this barrel. I hope it doesn't affect actually too much, but this thing was actually pretty accurate already. So even if I lose, you know, a little bit, I'm, I'm not too worried about it. And I'll be honest with you, I'm going to use the AK for zero to like 200, 250 yards, really. I ain't got the best vision, so that's what my plans are for this. I'm not really too long range. But anyways, so, so that's, I don't know if the four clamps are going to really affect, you know, barrel harmonics and stuff like that. So we'll see. Um... But what I really like about it is it brings the handguard out, and uh, you know you can mount M-lock accessories, like for example, um, QD mount for the front, uh, which you know big deal since I lost the sling loop. I really wanted, I like the QD system myself, so that was kind of a bear to, to fit with the Ultimac. This is a problem. Um, don't, let me get to the Ultimac. So, like I said, I was sliding this piece on, and it would it, it hit. Well, the track that the plastic guard actually rides in, there's two little, there's a tab on each side, and it was hitting right here on the edge of the Ultimac and would not go any further. And there was no way I could move the actual heat shield forward or back because the Ultimac was, it's solid. It doesn't really have much play, or enough play anyways. So I had to actually um, get in there and, again, Dremel, and just take a little portion out of my Ultimac just to get so the tab can come further back. So the tab's further back now. Uh, some people may be worried that it's out of the track, I guess. Uh, but she is wedged in there really good. She's not going to go anyplace. Um, it also has little tabs up the front to hold it into. I'm not too worried about it. And, uh, you know, screws on each side. The only thing I don't dig about the Zukov, and I just, I don't know. These, this little bolt here, and there's one on the other side, if you can see it, they're short as hell. And, I mean, I put a good, I put my own Loctite on it. The Magpul didn't really come with any on it. Because I got a feeling, man, that's going to come loose. And then this thing will just slide right off. I'll bet, you know, it's pretty tight, though. So so I had to, you know, modify my Ultimac a little bit. You know, I shot it with some spray paint, too, to make it look decent. Yeah, you know, you can't even see it. It's underneath. Um, second thing was I couldn't get this QD mount to fit, again, because the Ultimac, it's just, for the Yugo, it's longer, because it's made for a Yugo. Um, so I actually modified one of the T-nuts. Um, I took off one of the flanges, and to be honest with you, I think it's going to be fine. It, so it's being held in, you know, by the by T-nut the on this side, this is solid, this is great, and this one just has one half the T-nut, uh, basically. I think it'll work fine. Uh, you know, do what you gotta do to make, and then I also had to trim a little bit here, uh, because the Ultimac, again, just off the plastic, you could hardly tell, but that's what I had to do. Um, don't mind the mismatched color scheme here. Uh, I had this left over from my AR build, uh, it's the, uh, AFG2. Um, I just want to see if I dig it on there, because I didn't dig, dig it on the AR, I didn't like it at all, but I actually like it a lot on this, uh, don't ask me why, I don't know. Uh, so, probably going to switch that out with a black one, you know, just so it matches. And then I'm probably going to switch out the uh, MFT stock for a black one, just make it all black. I really wanted to do gray throughout. Magpul has a gray color, um, but their gray does not match MFT gray. I really dig this stock. I was trying to keep this thing light as possible, but you might be thinking, dude, you, you threw an Ultimac and that huge rail. What were you thinking? Well or the huge handguard, what are we thinking? I really love this handguard. I just think it's... It's tits. So, so yeah. I gotta get rid of uh, some Yugo parts. I'll never... Once you do this modification, unless you go, you know, get a new one of these and a new sling loop, and you have a, a press, like a two-ton press, I guess, to, you know, take everything back off and put the new pieces on, 
those uh, factory pieces ain't ever going on anyways. To be honest with you, I mean, they were all right. I mean, the wood's good and stuff, but uh, I think she's a lot better looking now. So, um, let me know what you think. I thought it was pretty cool. Just need a light and a red dot, and she is all done. Maybe a new um, flash hider or something, but uh, definitely a light. Probably just mount a Surefire GT G two X Tactical because it has the. I don't like cycling through functions. I just want it on or off, and then the optic. I really like the Halo Sun four hundred three Gs. Uh, just because they have a shake feature, which turns them on, and they have, I think, a 50,000-hour life. Um, a lot of people are like, well, why don't you get an endpoint? <laughs> Bro, that's like 500, 600, some dollars. I'm not putting that on a Yugo, bro. Uh, so, there she is. So again, I wish the lighting was better for you, but uh, you get what you get. Tell me what you think. Have a good one, guys.